Hello again, this is Fiendish with Dimension Touring, and welcome to uh, the next installment of our Tinker Tools video guides. This one is about rotating. Um, it's going to be the last of the feeder windows before we go into the offset calculator and then into copy and paste. Uh, rotate, just like scale and move, has two modifiers, absolute and relative. Uh, relative is where the as group function is. If you want to turn something on an angle and you want it to keep its shape, you're going to need uh, to have relative and as groups selected. You can rotate multiple items in absolute, um, but that's going to take a little bit of playing around. So let's get started with some basic rotations. Um, I'm making, the, I've got a basic floor here and I want to make a wall for it. So I need to rotate it. Now which axis am I going to rotate it on? I'm going to rotate it in the pitch, which is going to be the red. If I type in 90 degrees, which is the most commonly used angle for anything, and it's absolute, that means it's absolutely going to move to that degree. And then I can scale it, and since I'm not using a, a relative move or anything, I'll ju just need to manually move it in position and set the height. I'm going to pop open, copy and paste here. Now I need a wall on my sides. So I'm going to copy and paste, close it out. Now I'm going to reset the new tile. Now since they're tiles, they're going to be the same height, um, whether it's in the pitch or the roll. So let's try the roll. And then I'll move it into position, roughly. Okay, now one thing about a lot of rift materials uh, and the building blocks is that there's a grain line, like you can see here. On one wall, the bricks are moving horizontally, and on the other one, they're moving vertically. If I want them both to be the same, then I have to rotate this one on two axes instead of just the one. Now why would it be the pitch and the roll? Well, that has to do with the translation thing, which means that I don't really know why it's on those two particular axes instead of, say, the pitch and the yaw, because it's just this turn sideways. But it's the pitch and the roll, and that's going to keep those uh, those bricks lined up so where they're all going the same direction. Then if I want to do a third wall, all I have to do is just a real basic copy and paste and then move it to where I want it. So 90 degrees is the most common angle of rotation. Uh, then you have 180, which is to turn something upside down. I say I want to see what the underside of this basket looks like. And there it is. I usually use absolute rotations um, for some morphs, but usually when I'm starting to lay the framework for a, a structure like this, I'll use an absolute rotation to make sure that this is standing upright and this is um, making an angled corner from that and that they're precise. Uh, when I talk to people that build dimensions or are looking to build dimensions, one thing I hear is that rotating um, is pretty much the most intimidating thing that they can think of to do. And it doesn't have to be because the largest number you'll ever deal with when it comes to rotating is 360, because that's the number of degrees in a circle. So let's talk about absolute rotating in a group. If I want to take this and I want to make these stripes a little bit narrower, um, then I need to angle these planks in another direction. So let's rotate them, or reset them to the default position. Now the circle tells me which one, which axis I need to rotate it in. It doesn't matter if it's a um, positive or a negative rotation, because it's just to see how these look. And if I don't want this much of the plank sticking out the back side of my wall, I would have to go through and resize them uh, to where I was happy with them. But sometimes you'll go into a dimension and you'll see somebody has made uh, wallpaper from building blocks, and this is one way that they could have done it. And that would be a lot easier than trying to line up each of them by hand to get them the same, to the same degree. And another thing that um, the rotation function is good for is to set 
like an incremental rotation, like say I want to make some stairs out of these corner posts, but I'm not sure how far to rotate it, so I'm going to drop another post, manually set a step height without an offset, and then I'm just going to try a minus 5. Why minus 5 in the yaw? Because if it's positive, then it's going to follow this direction of this arrow. Now I want it to go the other way, so I'm going to do a minus 5. So I want to do a relative rotate in the yaw, because that's the green arrow. And then there it went. 5 degrees was too much. Um, I've got a little bit of a gap here at the end. Easy way to correct that is just to come back one degree and see if that works out. And it does. So then I can put another post down and do an incremental rotation of minus four. And there we go. Since we haven't covered a how to do a lot of offsets, I'm, I'm keeping it really simple for the basic rotating function. Now one thing I can do, and this is where Tinker Tools really starts to shine, is if I want to take this staircase here and rotate it as a group um, to where it lines up with my little floor piece here. Now I want to make sure I've got every piece selected. And this is not too many items for the Rift client to handle. I actually could uh, rotate it manually, but that would defeat the purpose of using the, uh, the rotate function, function. So when I'm moving all of these items, I want to rotate in relative, and then I want to do it as a group so it'll keep its, uh, its shape. It's basically pivoting on the selection point of all these items. So I want to rotate in the yaw. I'm going in the direction of the arrows. Let's try a 10 degree rotation. And then line it up a little bit more. Now we're going to scale it down. Let's try a 5. A little more. And a little more. And one more. And that turned out just about perfect. So now I have an actual floor to stand on here. So if I take this and I uncheck the as group and then I want to rotate it 10 degrees, this is what's going to happen. Oops. Everything's going to turn on, everything's going to turn and it's going to turn by that 10 degrees, but um, it's, it's, as you can see, my stairs are now not stairs any longer. So that's why the as group button is selected when you do a move like that. And that's how easy rotating with Tinker Tools is. Um, remember, 360 is the biggest number you'll ever see and that's the full degrees of a circle. Now if I want to move this back to where it was oops, maybe type correctly let's see what happens there and that was that easy. Till next time, happy building!